welcome to divine energy tarot i'm divine energy welcome to this beautifully lit abundant and prosperous youtube over here i do spiritually related videos and content if you enjoy here make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up all right make sure you hit the subscription button if you're new here what's good everybody sending you all wellness hope you are well <laughs> let's get into the messages let's get into the vibes here this one for Sagittarius. 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 Okay, so some of you guys could be connecting with Archangel Ariel here. Your crown chakra, okay. What else? Patience, okay. Okay, so you're working on your heart space, healing, having patience with your heart, okay, woman holding the heart, so you want love, but you got to be patient with this journey, this process, connecting more to your mind chakra, it's all connected, all right? <clears throat> yeah, magician in the mirror. is all about careful preparation for a love connection. I strongly get that here with these three cards. But let's keep going. Let's dive into this energy. Denial is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. <laughs> what else? <laughs> High Priestess of Air. We got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy out here. Conclusion. Yeah. So you're wrapping it up about this section where maybe you felt like for a time, right, you couldn't have love. I feel like you're wrapping that chapter up. That chapter is over. Okay, you promise yourself that you're going to get better, you're going to heal. And you know what? Because you chose to do that, inherently, you're attracting love. Woman holding the heart. <clears throat> All right. Talk to me here, all these spirit angels and guides. Where are we? Let's dive a little deeper. Let's unpack this. What is the high priestess of air? Mm. So some of you guys are trying to figure something out. All right. Hmm. Looking more closely at the details of how you got in this particular position with your heart space. High priestess of air. That's like going within, you know, with this magnifying glass. 
you know, to figure this out so you can repair something. Okay, within you. Okay. Conclusion. Conclusion. What is conclusion? So I think you're figuring out that you are ready for love. Making that more clear to yourself. Okay. Paying attention to the details so you don't make the same mistake or do the same thing, right? Have the same pattern so that you change the pattern, right? Conclusion. What's conclusion? Mm, the conclusion is you're getting lifted out of a negative situation. Lifted out of negativity concerning your heart. Okay. You're saying be present. Okay, so you can experience enjoyment here. Oath. What's oath? What's oath? Overflowing abundance, emotional release, letting it go. Literally, that was the card that was underneath, that was at the top of this deck. Let it go. You made an oath to let something go here. Your old perspective, the way that you see something, okay? You got a new pair of glasses, a new way to look at something, period. This is giving you like a, an emotional release, okay? Some of you guys are going to cry. Literally, tears of joy. I was channeling this energy the other day, too. Because you've been chasing after this, like, this goodness, this sweet goodness, this resilience from being patient with your heart, right? Really learning yourself so you could tell somebody who it is when you meet them right and not have unrealistic expectations with this um gap in communication right i was channeling that too you know working on the communication for us you know it's helping us to be able to express better what we want okay not just in intimate relationships but all relationships right Okay, communication is very obviously important. So be patient with yourself because you're also communicating like how to do something internally. That didn't come instinctually. You had to learn that. So patience, they're saying. Okay. What is second chakra, Archangel Ariel? As the sun. This card looked like the dang wrong sun. Archangel area. Yeah, this is a moment of self realization, though, with this sun here. Remember, I said this, uh, this one here was the mind chakra crown. Right. The third eye. Self-realization. Hmm. What's a woman holding a heart? Allow. Trust divine timing right now. Okay, number 44, significant here. The spirit symbol is significant here. What's patience? Mm, 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 mm. I can't make this shit up. What the fuck? 
I said patience. What's patience? Stop trying to rush this shit on, on okay? So we could really get down to the nitty gritty. Patience. Divine partner, soulmate, activated your heart chakra, balancing your yin and yang energy, reflection, your other self, okay? Awakening, mirror reflection, catalyst. This is the result of doing the inner work that you needed to do to attract this twin flame. You had to be patient with your heart and just allow this to happen. That's why you're calling in the soulmate, a fucking twin flame, a divine partner here, okay? Ooh, I start swearing and everything, y'all, because I get excited about these. Because y'all know this is what it's all about, okay? If you know, you know. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Mm-mm-mm. Unsatisfied, yeah. You wasn't happy the way things was going with your love life. And you knew something needed to change. You needed to activate your heart in order to truly attract this connection. Damage. Okay. Two people are hurting from a situation. Okay. This isn't one-sided, okay? Free to go, okay? Somebody left. Packed it up. Had to leave. Had to go. Okay. Holding on, okay? Somebody was in a situation where they was free to go, but they still holding on to this situation. If it don't got time to keep restarting over, right? <laughs> New connections, right? <laughs> right? So you holding on. All right. Pleading, man. Somebody begging. All right. Somebody's words is very toxic. Okay. Somebody feel neglected here. Yeah, hella heart attack. Like some of y'all, the pain that you were experiencing in past relationships literally brought you like to where it blocked your heart. Like you can have like literally heart problems, right? Breathing, like you could always notice your breathing because that's how deeply the pain that you experience from a relationship, it affects you, you know? Um and so you're repairing your healing right now and you've done a lot of healing in the past okay that's why they say it's time for you to let it go okay this is a moment of fulfillment you've completed you've released now you get to experience your overflowing abundance when it comes to love okay some of y'all I'm telling you you're going to be crying tears of joy you see how she crying but yours is going to be tears of joy like can't believe it like yeah from repairing your heart doing all this healing work in the past all the way up until now still doing it i don't feel like you ever done healing necessarily okay yeah so that you can have what is rightfully yours you're divinely a sovereign being Happiness, love, birthright. Okay? That's the birthright. We don't have to do anything to deser be deserving of that. Right? It's our right. Okay? You don't have to deserve it. Right? <sighs> mm. 
missed opportunity. Yeah, somebody's holding on because they feel like they missed the opportunity to move on, to go and find love, have love. If you think you're too old, I don't know, whatever this is. And you probably young. I'm here 34, 27. Who's young in the house? 24? Who's young in the house? I remember those days. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, values, third parties. Yeah. Somebody could have been taking you on third party situations or just having something in between you and their relationships that made you feel like your values, you and their values were misaligned, okay, in the connection. This is going to be a shocker where you're going right now and what you're manifesting with a new connection. This is definitely going to be a shocker, okay. Not going to be expecting this. Or are you? I think you are. You just have a lot of pride. Okay. It's about you finding your true identity. Even if you're, if you find yourself in a love connection already, this is about you finding yourself so that you could even love that person more, right? So no matter where you are in a situation, whether you're single or not, right? But yeah. What do we need to hear right now? <laughs> It says, I surrender to a power greater than me, okay? Divine power, okay? Greater than you. It says, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all, okay? Not just a outcome, but for everybody's highest good, right? You start getting your heart right. You start really manifesting properly. Then your abundance can flow in like it should. You got to forgive those people. You got to release that hurt. That pain that they caused. That whoever, wherever it was caused, you can place the blame wherever. It's not my, you know what I'm saying? It's not my place to judge you, you know? And I'm not going to. Okay, but the thing is, is to be able to move forward in wellness. What does that look like, right? It looks like healing your heart, getting that right so that you can really enjoy a soulmate. Because how would you know? Your soulmate, if you don't know yourself. 1844, when I said that. How do you know yourself if you don't? How do you know? 1844, 44. How do you know yourself or your soulmate if you don't know yourself? How, 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 how? Sway, right? How? You got to first know yourself. That's what the sailing process was. It was getting to know yourself. What are your quirks? What are your tics? You know? Who are you inside that shell that you refuse to let anyone into? Unless you really trust them. You feel me? Like, yeah. Right? Awakening. Finding balance in the yin and yang energy. Activating the heart. You heard me? This is larger than life, this sort of development here, this progress, this path, this journey that you own right now, okay? Kind of feel like you're chasing after something, right? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let me see. Let's get another one of these. Let's see what's coming out. Let's get a shuffle going for these. It's your moment. This is your time. You guys are seeing 11, 11 a lot. 20, 40 on the clock. Wake up. It's your, mo your moment, okay? Don't drink poison. Don't do things you know that are bad for you, okay? Sweet little reminder here for us all. Let's get one more of those. Sweet little reminders. Resilience. Experience. Growing stronger and fresh perspective. You're becoming braver. Okay. Ooh. I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all gotta see my new dance that I got. I seen it off of TikTok. I gotta stop doing dances off of TikTok. Because Lord knows. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Any last mini, uh, last mini, uh, cute. Any last minute <laughs> messages concerning these beautiful lovers? In the house, lovers in the house, lovers in the house. Y'all like my song? <laughs> I'm gonna put that shit in my intro. <laughs> Make my shit fast. Lovers in the house. Y'all like that song? Don't steal it. Somebody felt stood up. Like they didn't get what they want. Or they running late. Somebody feel aggravated, annoyed. It's not your first time here. I guess the more that you repeat something or the more that you dig, dive deeper, you get more clarity, okay? So obviously it was meant for you to go through this. Even though it may be aggravating, annoying, feel like you're waiting, okay? Okay. Anything else? tested right now that's really what I see here your mood may be like real blunt you know your feelings feel dry sometimes right that's what they talking about don't drink poison right going back to that uh, dark place I guess right find that joy that's what the sun all about, right? That vitamin D. Find it. If you ain't got it, get it. Right? Suspicious. Yeah. Some of you guys could be readers. Some of you guys could see the future. So it's like hard to release it. But you have to. Because it give you anxiety, make you paranoid and shit. In regular day-to-day -day situations in life, right? So, I want you to be mindful of that as well. Is there anything else here, Holy Spirit, angels and guys? Yeah, somebody's coming in. They got a lot of money. That's the money man. They call them the money man. It's 
somebody wants to pay your bills. <sighs> yeah, they look at you like you classy, so you probably already take care of that. You probably already a boss of that. This person want to splurge on you. Somebody that's coming in is very mature. Well endowed here. Okay. okay. Hello. Let's see. Yeah. You're sick of these guys. That's just not your type. These relationships. When you could be overflowing in abundance in relationships and divine soulmates, right? Divine partnerships, right? People from your past, they try too hard, okay? Something just off about them, okay? the T here. Okay. We got our higher power. Yeah. This is a love connection written in the stars with higher power. Okay. Sources involved. Lessons had to be learned. Okay. You had to gain this knowledge to apply it and turn it into wisdom. That's the sweet nectar here. Okay. That's the sweet nectar. The enjoyment here. Yeah. Somebody's ready to go in all or nothing. Okay. This person isn't afraid of love. They're not afraid to take it slow. They want all or nothing. Okay. Emotionally fulfilling. This is what you deserve. Okay? This is what you fucking deserve. Okay, some of you guys are walking away from users that were not reliable. They wanted you to financially support them. Take advantage of you. Okay? You're walking away from those types. Nothing to give, but they hand always out. You heard me. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anything else, Holy Spirit, angels? Yeah. Yep. You're going to be in a connection where you don't have uh, trust issues with this person. Okay. You're going to be in a connection where you're no longer just existing or waiting, okay, for love to happen or for a, the connection because it's going to just be there, all right? It's just there. Somebody feels stood up from your past. I think it's because you go into this new connection and... Leave they ass bye bye in the past. Somebody's gonna give you a lot of attention for those of you who like that type of thing, right? Wow. This is definitely unlocking your emotions, how you feel, okay? With a chariot, that's like you chasing after something, but it's like it's 
just feels like that you're not really chasing after something that's just allowing the heart to guide you the chariot okay yeah to the fucking star allowing the heart to guide you to the empress to the ace of pentacles to this new start this ace of pentacles this is a new person here the star so this is belief this is knowing like yo i've been manifesting and this is coming to me period okay this is coming to me the empress Ace of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups, okay? Yeah, there was a lot of cleaning out of your closet, cleaning out the clutter, the stinking thinking, the same patterns, right? Not avoiding them, but going into the same patterns, right? And then learning how to reprogram and not, right? Make the same decisions, right? Unprogramming yourself, okay? The Seven of Cups. There was deep unprogramming that you had to be patient with yourself to really activate your heart, okay? <clears throat> yeah, to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Now you can finally have something. Five of Pentacles in reverse. What is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? To the two of pentacles, to the sun, to the six of wands. First, you had to recognize like your flaws or where you was like maybe making like poor decisions, so that you could fix that. Or decisions with uh, parties that were imbalanced, let's say, that brought an imbalance to your life. Okay. <clears throat> You had to realize something with that six of uh, wands here. Yeah. How to cherish yourself. How to value yourself. Put yourself first. Something you guys like to do for others a lot. Okay. And it's that part. Especially in connections. Nine of Pentacles. So the eight of Pentacles. Okay. Like, I'm going to show you that I love you. Until you don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, page of pentacles to the page of wands. Okay. So you got like this energy of <clears throat> whoever this person is. You guys are meeting at the same level here with the Empress. I wouldn't be surprised if the Emperor came out. Because you guys are definitely meeting at the same place. You know, Four of Cups. This person wants to offer you something here. You know, their your hand in marriage, whatever. Let's see. Mm, what's the Four of Cups? Ten of Swords. What's the ten of swords? The, the temperance. To the two of cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's clarifying the four of cups. The ten of swords. To the temperance. To the two of cups. This person is coming towards you. Because I feel like they got a lot to give. A lot to offer. What you have inside you is like... Your soulmate has so much of that same energy. <clears throat> this person is very balanced as you are balanced. This person is truly a reflection of you, you know, your other self, okay? So it's like I'm getting like two people craving or like it's like a call, like you two are calling each other vibrationally two of cups 
like I'm right here. Like if it was an echo or something and y'all following the echo to each other. Like kind of like how dolphins communicate, if that makes sense. But like in y'all own like way or whatever y'all doing here, okay. This is so sweet, okay. Two of Cups, what's the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups? Somebody is definitely watching you, checking you out, Page of Swords. Somebody is definitely also on an awakening path, okay. This other person, this soulmate connection. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This person is definitely on that same enlightenment path here. Getting clarity with this Queen of Swords, okay? Of what they want. This person is becoming sure that you are what they want, Queen of Swords. <clears throat> page of swords okay because they went from the page of swords to the queen of swords this person is sure that this two of cups this love is what they want okay yeah judgment that's their judgment that they made right there that's what they're thinking that's what they want to do <sighs> Yep, four of wands. The lovers. No, the uh, two of wands. Four of wands. I definitely see that with this connection here. Um, two people coming together with this queen of swords. Gaining some sort of clarity. Like, this is my person. I'm going towards you. Okay. You two have like a binding force. Okay, you two are connected by a unified field. Okay, if that makes sense to you. Okay, here. All right, a binding force, a life force. It's omnipresent. Trust divine time. Woman holding the heart. Okay, you guys are connected in the ethereal realm. I was explaining this card without even looking at this card. That's crazy. That's absolutely fucking crazy. Now, that be shit be crazy when I be looking at these cards. Because it just be so much information. Like, how do you... Anyways. <sighs> this is fucking powerful as shit. That's what I know. That is what the fuck I know. Hope at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what's at the bottom of this deck? Magician in the mirror. What's at the bottom of this one? Look at this. Healthy love at the bottom of this deck. Healthy love. This is what you're going towards. 3811. This is what you're going towards. Getting in a solid relationship that's consistent with compromise. This person puts you as a priority. Okay? So that's what I'm getting for this reading. Let me know how y'all like this one down below. Peace.